Resistance is asking for our help in extracting a VIP who has been providing reconnaissance data in this area. We've got the coordinates, but it's likely we'll have to clear out a contingent of hostile forces to make this work. All right, we're going on Operation Explicit Opinion. Uh, we're going to find a VIP and extract them. And obviously, Advent doesn't want them to escape. That's all there is to it. Let's get on the ground. Menace 1 5, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Advent already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. Okay. So we've got to make it to the top of that building. And there's basically a big courtyard between us and them with a building over here. Okay. Where is the edge of the map? Is it over here? Way over there. So we're kind of starting in the middle of the map. The other edge is over here. And I really don't want to go straight up the middle because I know that there is a Codex Prime on the map. And Codex Primes are uh, a real pain. So I think what we'll do, and we're starting with the VIP with us, so we got to keep the VIP safe in these uh, little encounters, and the VIP only has 5 health, which uh, means they're going to die for sure if uh, anybody even shoots at them. So, yeah. Do we have anybody that starts with concealment? I don't think so. No. So we're bringing Bader, Rosfeld, Saba, McGee, Wildfire, Gerard, Katsu, and that's our VIP, Anastasia Malakova, and we got Theron. So I think we go straight this way to the edge of the map, and then assault this building, get on top of it to get elevation bonuses. We'll probably take contact between this building and there, and we'll get up to the evac point. So we'll start things off right with Theron. Nothing. Okay. So we'll get everybody else moving. Understood. Sure thing. If you say so. Rosfeld can just teleport there because he can. Scanning. Sehr gut. And with the VIP, we can just be super careful. Well, we don't need to be that careful. And then turn. Just heard a door open over here. It was this door, so there's a pod right here waiting for me, but we can head away from them. And that's the edge of the map along here. So let's go this way. Oh god. Good. Okay, so we got a purifier, a mech, a stun lancer, an officer, and is that a shield bearer? Yeah, and he's the kind that has a sniper rifle. Okay. And the mech went on overwatch. 
So we're gonna overdrive with Theron. First thing we're gonna do is get rid of that Overwatch. Like so. Good. That Overwatch is now removed. Now our VIP is gonna go back here. And Hunker. Please Hunker. Okay, thank you. And the rest of our boys are going to get moving. Cuts is going to go there. And my boy Rosfeld is going to teleport over here. Like so. Too bad Gerard can't get super crazy and go up there. That's okay. Get his shields on. Yeah, okay. <sighs> okay. Maybe we want McGee moving up, so he's gonna overdrive. And he's going to make it here first. And with his second move, he can make it to that heavy cover position. Saba doesn't need to be too close to use his stuff. And the wildfire can get there. Okay, now, Katsu. He's going to rapid target. What is the most dangerous guy here? Probably the officer. So he's going to rapid target the officer. That's a free action. And he's going to combat presence Bader. So Bader gets an extra action to go here. Now Bader can use Saturation Fire. Now I could do it like this and get the Mech and the Stun Lancer, or I could do it like this and get the Officer and the Shield Bearer. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the shield bearer to get plus 15 aim and my chance against the officer is 95 okay that's fine I'm okay with that so he's gonna saturation fire like so good And that means Gerard can finish him. Like so. How many is that now? And he's gonna get a free action. And he could get really tricky if he wants. I don't think that's gonna be a good idea though, because he's gonna get cooked. And he's going into a really dumb position. Because uh, if he reveals another pot, I could be in trouble. So. I uh, can't quite get anything like that. I need that mech dead, otherwise he's going to really screw me. I could dominate that purifier though. You know what? I'm gonna do it. He's, and he can scout for me and he'll be an extra body. Good. Now we can shut down this mech. Shh. 
shut down, 100% chance. Could have done control enemy, but I'm gonna take the 100%. So he is gonna be shut down for two turns. And now. Let's see. Maybe you could kill that guy. I'm kind of worried about that stun lance. The shield bearer is likely to shield. He's gonna move probably back here and shield himself. But the stun lancer is gonna rush me. So I'm gonna deal with the stun lancer. Okay, McGee, shoot the stun lancer. Good. I definitely got that one. And Gerard can shoot the guardian. Okay, some damage. Shoot the guardian again. That means a wildfire can move up. Okay. Get our VIP moving. And hunker. Purifier, he has a flamethrower, but it's not going to do anything to the mech. And he died, so the purifier is going to come down here. And we're going to get our boys moving to the corner of the map. Rosfeld doesn't need to uh, walk anymore, he can just teleport everywhere. Nice. He is going to use his legs to get to that loot though. A superior stock and superior speed, that's nice. Asset in tow. Come get some. And the rest of our boys can oh, get yeah. there. Nice. So I want to get everybody together and reloaded and set for our next, uh, Our next engagement. Reloaded. So we're going to take our reloads now. Locked and loaded. May his will die by vengeance. Ready. In place. Moving to over. I'm on it. Okay. And we need the VIP to catch up, so we're going to take a turn to do that. May his will die by vengeance. I just heard a door open. And I heard something there, you can't tell me I didn't hear that. I'm gonna work on the assumption there's a pod right here, in this area. So we're getting our boys moving up pretty slow to this position.
Just assume there's a pod there. Keep our VIP moving. Heading out. On the bay. Affirmative, covering now. Watch yet, sir. Affirmative, covering now. I await the moment to strike. Hold here and find some cover. Yep, there's a pod exactly where I thought it was going to be. Now, the way to go could be to get up on this roof here. We'll be able to scout over here. And I think I was not a dummy. And I brought a battle scanner. I did. And uh, Saba can also scanning protocol. So what I'm going to do now... is get my guys moving who is it that has the scanner okay McGee is gonna go here I guess I'll be okay and he didn't see anything so he's gonna throw his battle scanner down here to find that pod okay a pod full of archons. That's four Archons. Okay. I'm pretty sure that wall is solid, so they're not going to see me if I move up. Just so long as I'm not a total goofball. There's a window there that i got to be careful of, but it's solid walls here. So I can move up here pretty safe, I think. Yep, okay. So that means our VIP is going to stay back here. And Hunker. Rosfeld can teleport up here to support McGee. Put his shields on, Katsu is, um, yeah, Bader is more important than Katsu in terms of shooting, so Bader is going to take that position, and Katsu can go here, Okay. and our guy with the flamethrower can uh, get in position, and I want to be careful I don't do a busted up activation to that door. I think I should be okay if I go there, though. Okay, fine. And Wildfire wants to be close for his grenades. And that leaves Saba to stay here. To protect the VIP and with Overwatch. Okay. So what are they going to do? They're going to fly up there. Oh, there's a Codex Prime in that pod. What's the Codex going to do? Nothing. That means my boy Theron is going to overdrive. And we can surprise that Codex right now. Like so. Jump jet up. And just like this, that codex is going to fall and probably die. Hopefully. And dead. That is not going to work. Alright, Katsu can take that Let's heavy go. cover.
this purifier is going to be boned in terms of range, but you can start moving. Yeah, he can't do anything this turn, so he's going to move up to the heavy cover again. And McGee got lucky and he can see all of them. don't think I'm going to do that with Rosfeld. He's just going to shoot this turn, I think, because uh, these guys are flying, and trying to target area abilities on flying stuff is a little busted. So he's just going to do that. He's gonna shoot this one. He can fire twice with bullet swarm, so he's gonna probably target two different ones to get the most damage out. Okay. Vader's gonna run and gun to this position so we can get all the way over here and shoot this guy and potentially kill him and then Katsu and just rapid target any one of them doesn't matter which. They're all a similar threat. And they're all grouped up close, so they're all basically going to do the same thing. But he can combat presence to give an extra action to Bader. And now Bader can shoot again and finish off that guy. Eliminated. Good. Now, Gerard can go up here with his grappling hook. And he's in cover from there. And regardless of whether he hits or misses, his stock on the Arashi is going to kill this guy. Or you can just crit and do 13 damage. Okay, that works too. You're gonna stay there. We can get up here with Saba and take a shot. Shoot this guy. Only the best. And shoot that guy. Nice. I thought the Codex Prime was going to be a very tough pod to deal with, but uh, it was in a terrible position, and luckily Theron hit a shot, so that's fine. Meanwhile, Rosfeld is going to teleport all the way over here and reveal all this area for me. Good. So now we know we can just kind of be a little dumb here. Got it. Location confirmed. <laughs> Let's move already. Moving to position.
I gotta be careful. I think there's one more pod on the map. So I just have to, uh... Just watch what I'm doing. get up there. The ladder there, but it's not going to help me. The ladder here that I can get up. Okay, so I got to clear this area. So that means Theron can go this way and clear it for me. Okay. My boy, the purifier can go up. Make sure it's perfectly clear. Okay, and now everybody else can move. Except for Rosfeld, he can just uh, teleport up there, like so. Uh, that that's got to be one of the most busted abilities in the game, I think, with this uh, particular mod pack. Uh, with this class mod I mean because that is uh wow especially as a free action if it costed one action I think it would be a little more balanced but it, since it's a free action you can just move anywhere on the map that is uh that's a bit OP I think it's a bit much but hey I ain't complaining All right. Yeah, so there's one more pod. I think what we'll do, we'll get the VIP moving to there for next turn. Meanwhile, the rest of our boys okay. can get in position for an activation. Sure thing. What's over there? Okay. Got it covered. Affirmative. Copy that. I'm on it. Understood. Okay, VIP is going to extract. Done. So now, the purifier is going to move up and see if he can see that pod. No. That means... A sub. There he is. No. There he is. And Saba can go here. And scanning protocol. So we spotted a bunch of civilians. Okay, there's two pods. And what is that? You might not be able to see it on the recording, but it's a sphere. That means it's a gatekeeper. Um, pretty sure it's a gatekeeper prime. And that's also something big that I might not want to deal with. So, if I was to engage these guys, I'd want to engage them up here, probably. That means Rosfeld. No, do not do that. 
That means Rosfeld is gonna go. If he goes here, he'll activate. So we know we can safely move up a little bit without activating. So we're gonna do that because we've already moved some of our guys this turn. If you say so. So we don't want to go any further. Understood. And this purifier we can kind of use as a suicide bomber because he has an incendiary bomb, which is pretty good. It lights everybody on fire and shreds a ton of armor. And he's got his flamethrower. Um, but the key thing is when he dies, he has a chance to explode. We've seen that before. Um, so we can run into the middle of their formation. We can even shoot him ourselves for that chance. Okay, so we went up with the purifier. Nothing. Okay, scanning protocol a second time to see where they went. Okay, they're still in a roughly the same position. We can afford to move up a little bit. Alternatively, we could get really aggressive with Gerard and activate that one pod. I think that's what we'll do. Spectre, Purifier. I think it's a Spectre Prime. Spectre, Purifier, a Stone Lancer. Okay. That means uh, Saba has to move back, but that's fine. On my way. McGee can move up. Reload with that extra action he's got. Now, what we want is to give McGee as much chance to kill this guy as he can. So, Katsu is gonna go here. And he is going to rapid target that specter. Plus 15 aim. Bader is going to go into the heavy cover position. Plus 15 aim. Theron is going to move up. And he's going to overdrive. And Wildfire is going to move up. And he can do a grenade after. So, McGee, what's your chance on that Gatling fire now? 82, that is much better, so take three shots at 82%. This ain't a duel. On the margins. And that's gonna deal a ton of damage. He's gonna use horror. Getting some of that health back. Oh god, no. That's bad, so that means Theron has to go here to give him cover. Because he panicked and ran out of cover. 
now. Monsieur Rosfeld is gonna go here. And he can reload for next turn. I mean, the wildfire also has to move, so he's gonna go here. Now we know that gatekeeper is over here. And I want to save the turret for the gatekeeper. So, Gerard. Mm, we need to deal with that codex, or not the codex, but the uh, specter. And we gotta deal 13 damage. We could do it with Gerard right now. 42%, so we'll give it a shot. Not quite. Please don't horror me a second time. Oh boy. Okay. So he's going to create a shadow of Gerard. He's not dead. It looks like it, but he's not. Um, he's just, uh, he's in a shadow right now. He's in the shadow realm. And, uh, his shadow realm doppelganger has come to try to kill us. But if we kill the specter, it dies. And that's exactly what Rosfeld is going to do. X-ray neutralized. And Gerard's going to get back up. Good. So that means flamethrower is not going to reach, incendiary bomb is not going to reach. So he just has to wait patiently for now. We can bombard these guys, or we could rocket them. I think if we rock it, we can kill the purifier this turn. Feels a bit more dam, a bit more uh, minimum damage, so we're gonna do this instead. Throw his little bouncy ball, and it destroyed his cover. Excellent news. That means Katsu can try to finish him. Or not. No, we don't want to go there because we're going to reveal that thing. So, end turn. He's going to retreat, which is the worst possible move he could have made. And this guy's going to rush me. Oh god. Oh god. And Wildfire was, uh, he got stun-lanced. He's not dead, but, uh, he's done though. Okay. It's dead. It has to be dead. wonder if we can revive him. On the hunt. Could heal him. Consider it done. Okay, that's fine. The purifier. I'm so scared of that thing, so the purifier is going to stay put. And we're going to wait for that guy to come to us, I think. Stick pot shots at him. Or just annihilate him, okay. Woo! You see that? Let's do this. Ready to rock. Overwatch. 
Okay, so now we're gonna prep for activating the gatekeeper back there. Okay, let's go and activate him now. Oh, Andy's got some Viper friends. Okay. But that means he can go here and distract them. While the rest of my boys deal with this gatekeeper. So. McGee. Europe. Bullet swarm. That armor's tough. And hit him again. So now all of his armor is now gone. That means Theron doesn't have to use any of his resources to kill him, so he's going to take his 70%. And fumble, okay. So that means Bader... He's going to shoot the gatekeeper once. And explode him, okay. And he's going to overwatch. For next turn. I'm on it. Okay. It wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was a gatekeeper prime, but uh, I mean, a regular gatekeeper is not anything to scoff at. So now we just got to deal with the rest of these vipers. We can burn the one in the back and deal some guaranteed damage to it. And now he's burning. Meanwhile, Rosfeld can teleport. And... He can get a nice disable on all of them. Alternatively, he could Void Rift. Two of them. Can't quite get all three, but he can void rift these two and potentially get a panic. I think that's what he's gonna do. So he's gonna do this against those two and force the other ones to rush this guy. Nice guaranteed damage. Okay, no panics, that's fine. But Gerard can shoot his wrist rocket at these two now. Might as well use our resources because this is the last part on the map. And we'll shoot at that boa. Shoot him again to kill him. Okay. So we don't care about that. This we do care about though. Rosfeld doesn't care about poison. This is why we overwatched. He's just gonna waste his turn. Okay. So that means we can go like this on the boa. Hostile target down. 
Our boy, the purifier. And now, do what he does best. He's gonna go here. And he's gonna flame these vipers. And my boy Theron is gonna go here and blow all of those guys sky high. Yes, I don't care. So, Bader. Where can you go that you'll get a nice saturation fire? Nowhere. That's fine. Because Gerard can go like this. And he can activate Shield Wall to suddenly become a heavy cover position for Bader. He's now going to Saturation Fire these two vipers. It's what turns the tide. Bang! Yeah, over. Yeah. Scanning. Good to go. Okay. Scanning. Nice. And we'll just kill that purifier because we don't need him anymore. Dunzo. And now we gotta get to the evac. Going now. Copy that. Affirmative. Double time. Already there. On the hunt. Shifting to new firing position. Eternally ready. They are good. On it. Absolutely. They're laid in back. Oh, shoot. I've just made a very grave error. I forgot to pick up my boy. And Theron can't pick him up. Crap. I hope that since I completed the mission, he comes out with us. He should. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Okay, he came with us. Good. Okay. Whew. Okay. That is, uh, yikes.